few weeks ago, I traveled to Gothenburg to link up with my friend. Oh, <gasps> there's the friend. The plan was pretty simple, stay at a nice hotel, do a meet and greet, and have a good time. Which, honestly, between me and you, probably ended up in a few too many beers. I just woke up and uh, you might hear it on my voice, I've maybe had one too many drinks last night. You most certainly did, my friend. And if I remember correctly, I wanted to turn on the camera to show you guys my, you know, home remedy of getting rid of hangover, which is a really, really, really cold shower. <laughs> Anyways, we also filmed a few videos, which one of them turned out to become nothing like it was planned. That's this one. And by the way, if you're just here because you want to know the real answer to the title of this video right here, then uh, you'll you'll find it towards the end of the video. All right, enough of all this. Let's uh, see what me and Peter end up recording. I am currently shooting at f1.8 here, so make sure that you are staying. If I move, <laughs> you move. Am I st am I starting this in your studio? I don't know. This is your channel. It's all not right. mine. Today I am here with my friend here, Peter Lindgren. Hello. In the studio, you'll probably see where I am. Hello. If you don't know, then he is like, could, can you say that you're like a Sony Sony master? <sighs> Too much. <laughs> <laughs> Too you, much. <laughs> you said it, not me, okay? You, you know a lot about, about the, the Sony cameras, especially when it comes yes. to filmmaking. And I'm I'm I pretty recently got a full frame, so I'm wondering if you could show I, I'm me. I'm just so incredibly proud that you finally took the step to get the full, the full frame. frame. A lot of a lot of a lot of the guys there are like, why did you go with the full so, frame? Okay, so for those of you that are shooting APS-C, APS-C is great. It's a fantastic startering kit. Like when you want to get into filmmaking and you want to, you know, get a camera that can do some really good stuff without breaking the bank. APS-C is the shit. Mm. But when you're starting to work more professionally, when you make a living from making videos and taking photos, moving up to full frame is actually something that I do recommend because it opens up a wider variety of stuff that you can do. And, and the lenses are fantastic. <laughs> exactly. I mean, like lenses and then you have the bigger field of view. Mm -hmm. And there's also much more depth of field everything looks different you start to think in like 35 millimeter frame instead of thinking APS-C and converting that and you know i mean when i make my videos i legit think in full frame this is the conversation APS-C or full frame you know this video is going to be titled you're going to watch this through and edit and then you're be like, oh. <laughs> this, <laughs> this video is going to be titled why APS-C is dead to me <laughs> <laughs> I think why APC is dead to me. Okay, so <laughs> both be here. Just gonna follow you here. So. <laughs> yeah, I'm not <laughs> falling out of focus. <laughs> but I've gotten many questions from you guys asking like, should you go full frame or not? Like full frame versus. I think this is a boring subject. Full frame versus uh, <laughs> versus APC. <laughs> Use whatever you want. Full frame is. I think. I'm not gonna say that it's true, but I think the future of filmmaking. I think that full frame is gonna replace APS-C. I think, I think APS-C, once again, I think that APS-C is great. I think it's a fantastic entry level. level. Mm. Oh, oh, oh. But it, it's a great entry level camera and it's a great entry level system. Yeah. Uh, but as I said, you know, moving up to full frame, it's a natural way of expanding your visions, expanding your creative stuff mm -hmm. and make it, making sure that you can utilize the camera to its full potential. So Peter, tell me, why is APS-C then dead to me? Because you're never going to go back. <laughs> once you've gotten into the full frame system, once you've started to use it, once you, you get like have everything down, you have the lenses, you have the entire system built up around the full frame system, you're not going to go back to APS-C. Of course, you can get the better reach when you have the cameras. Like you can get a 100 millimeter lens to become a 150 millimeter. Yeah. But then again, if you have the lenses for the full frame, you can just pick and choose the right lenses for the thing that you're about to shoot. Of course, then it's the portability, which is nice, but this is not that, like the APC is so small. Yeah, and so then if you're hiking and stuff. But when it comes to this camera in particular, the A7 IV, you also have the possibility to crop in. Yeah, like you, super, have the, super you have the APC mode. mode. Yeah, you have the APC mode here. And then, okay, I'm just gonna be honest with you guys that are watching now. Um, I know that a lot of you are APS-C 
It's gonna be hard. He's a little bit embarrassed. It's a little. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. Yo. So you just made it this far in the video. Thank you so much for that. The fact that you're watching my silly videos is just. Uh, it's a true honor. Thank you for that. And also, while I have your attention, if you could smack that like button for me, it really helps me out. And consider subscribing if you're new to the channel. Anyways. Like, I'm not sure if I can totally agree with Peter on every single level, although he did have some strong points, and, like, it is true that I'm really enjoying the full-frame camera, and I'm, like, it's just so new to me, and I love using it, and I love exploring something new, and it is, it is, it's amazing, like, it, it, it really is, and it's super fun. Anyways, to answer the title of this video, <laughs> is Sony APS-C dead to me, then, um, the answer to the question is, uh, probably not.